example of region Mumbai. So let's say this is the Mumbai region and Mumbai region has its name AP South 1. In this Mumbai region, you have three availability zones. Let's say AZ1, AZ2, AZ3. And every AZ has its own code like AP South 1A, 1B, 1C. And these are data centers in these availability zones. So not always you will have a three data center. You can have a 10 data center with an availability zone, 20 data center, 30 data center. But that figure is not shared anywhere with us. But in availability zone, you have a group of logical data centers. And every data center will have multiple servers, everything. Availability zone containing multiple data center. And all these data centers are internally connected with the help of this red color box. This red color box is a edge location. Edge location is responsible to provide connectivity between data centers. Even if one edge location fails, your connectivity between data center will not fail. But what is does these edge locations are containing? These edge locations are also known as mini data center. Why? Because these edge locations are containing networking devices. These are containing routers. These are containing switches and and these are also containing servers to cache memory because these edge location can also be used for content delivery network or your content distribution globally in all major cities let's say if i'm talking about in delhi mumbai kolkata chennai pune bangalore in all these cities you will find these edge locations so total more than 400 edge location globally are available so who is maintaining edge location aws is maintaining edge Edge location is responsible for two main tasks for number one for content delivery or content distribution and the second is for connectivity between data centers that's all you will remember so let's say your application your server was running in North Virginia. Let's say this is the server. This is your web application. And this is good for uh, United States people because uh, for them, North Virginia is available with a minimum distance. So they will not feel any latency. Let's say this website, the same application is uh, being used by another users. And these users are in different locations. Let's say this user is in Australia, this is in Japan, this user in India, this is in UAE. And all these users are accessing this application from the remote geographic location. There is a big problem here. Everyone who is using this uh, application from the remote location, they are maintaining or they are managing their link directly with the server. It means your server is bearing low and they will start complaining you about uh, latency. So the person who is sitting in Australia, it is really far from United States, from North Virginia. He'll complain you, sir, I'm not able to see videos properly. I'm not able to see high resolution pictures. So that is taking little time. So what kind of a server you have launched? I'm not able to access it properly. The same response you are getting from the different areas from the world. So you feel that you are offering actually the direct connectivity from your server and your server was unable to distribute content with the least latent. So this is a really bad idea. What I did, so I just removed this. I told you as locations are available in all major cities. Let's say this person is in Tokyo. Tokyo, this person is in Australia or Sydney. He was somewhere in Dubai and he was in Mumbai. So definitely the distance between Tokyo, Mumbai, Dubai, Sydney, it's really far. I'm talking about the global clients. So and one thing is there in every edge location means all these cities will have these edge locations in their areas. And these edge locations are the part of AWS global infrastructure. So these are anyhow connected with your server through the global infrastructure. You have not to make any separate connectivity. And these are the edge locations. And your these, these edge locations are available in your city. So when I use, because there is a service name CloudFront. So with the help of CloudFront, I will distribute the content of my application on these edge locations. Let's say these are edge locations. And what I will do, I will distribute my content of my application in these edge locations. So what these users will do, instead of accessing data application directly from the server, they can access the 
content from these edge locations. These edge locations are available in the nearest place in their own city. So they will not feel any latency. But this service is not a free of cost. You will pay some charges for content distribution because I told you every edge location, let's say this edge location, this edge location is containing routers, switching servers. So basically the content of your applications are stored in the server of edge locations to distribute traffic in that particular area. Now these guys will say, yes, I'm able to access high resolution pictures, videos without any latency. This is the purpose of edge location. So this was the content delivery.